So no protective equipment PPE is an equipment want to protect the worker from hazard at the workplace. It also minimizes exposure to serious workplace injuries and illness causes by the contact with chemical, radiological, physical, electrical, and mechanical hazard. PPE should be opted as the last line of defense after condition of any other alternative control. The PPE should be made Malaysia Public Work Department or Jabatan Kerjaya JKR and Occupational Safety and Health Administration OSHA PPE General Requirement Standard. Firstly, hard head. It also known as safety helmet. It protects head from impact of falling object and ribbon from other object. It also protects our head from electrical shock. It is made for durable materials such as metal, fiberglass and rigid plastic. So, the impact is less likely to be transmitted directly to the skull. There are three class of hard head which are class D for general construction, class E for electrical construction and class C for conductive construction. This has made class define the level of electrical protection. For the eye protection, we have two main PPE which are safety glasses and safety goggles. They are as primary eyes protected that shield the wearer eyes from impact assets such as flying fragment, dust and splash. The stronger build frame are constructed of metal or plastic that can be fitted with either creative or impact externals. Such shield should be incorporated into the frame of the safety glasses when needed. The lens must provide UV protection, superior anti-scratch and anti fog properties, dark lens for outdoor work and clear lens for indoor or night work. The difference between these two is safety glasses allow A in and around the eyes area while safety google have a tight seal of term with suction and a circle with a stack that goes around the back of the head. It makes safety google more effective than safety glasses because it prevents any object or liquid from slipping through the space between the face and the eyewear by fit tight against the face. Next, face shield. It is secondary eyes protector and the final level of protection which protect not only the eyes but the full face. It is a core vent around the head with an adjustable band. This is the best protection when workers are coming into contact with chemical splash or potentially hazard infection material like solid particle flying at high speed. Usable half mask, a negative pressure respirator consists of a filter holder unit called face space or mask. Replicated from mold, plastic or rubber, the mask contains intact and has how well that attached to the stack that ensure a tight fit to the wearer face. This type of half mask respirator has a reversible filter that removes dust when the face space seal is leak tight. Even so, the seal can occasionally cause skin irritation. This respirator also interferes with the conversation and may interfere with eyeglasses or Google. Filtering face piece respirator FFR, commonly colored dust mask, is a type of negative pressure air purifying respirator that has a lighter design than half mask respirator. The entire mask is fabricated from filter material that cover the mouth and nose. FFR offers some advantage compared to the impossible filter respirator. In particular, they are more comfortable and require no maintenance. Even so, it may be harder to pass a fit test with FFR than with suitable half mask. As a result, they are often much less effective than half mask. The average dust reduction was only 67%. For the ear protection, we have ear plug and ear mask. They are device that protect the user ear from lap nose, infection of water, dust, and excessive wind. Ear plug are inexpensive, like to carry around and great in all weather. Meanwhile, ear mask are more effective over very loud equipment like jam hammer and may be able to protect ear from any contact. Nowadays, there are also electronic ear parts that use noise cancel technology that block all level of damaging noise but offer one amazing feature with its ability to still hear speech without having to remove the ear plug. Ear are significantly more protected with this technology and they are light, comfortable and more likely to be worn. The only downside is that they do need to charge it and more expensive than other earplugs. A safety glove is designed to keep hands safe from cut, chemical burn, abrasion, crushing, and contact with biohazard. There are many types of gloves such as cotton, non-cut fabric, leather, latex, rubber, and plastic. 
it's really important to choose the right type and size of glove for individual depend on the construction hazard to be encountered. The purpose of safety vest is to allow the wearer to be seen and to alert all people present in his field of vision, especially in a low visibility situation. This item has reflective strip that reflect the light toward the approaching motorist and driver. Moreover, it typically comes in white colors such as intense fluorescent, orange, and yellow. The wearer of safety vest has a better chance of preventing unwanted injuries by reducing occurrence of accident. Since the driver can reduce the speed in inner time to prevent hitting a person. All safety vests usually used by traffic signal and construction site occur in open area, especially for the daytime. Meanwhile, yellow safety vests are mostly used at the night time. Safety vests are not only affordable, but they are also quite comfortable. Safety shirt protect feet from foot injuries causes by failing, rolling, sharp and heavy objects, slippery surface, and uneven surface, hot surface, and electrical hazard. It also prevents exhaustion by providing adequate cushioning and art support that make people more comfortable which alleviate strain on muscle. Therefore, safety shirt for construction worker must be anti-penetration designed with a steel toe cap and abrasion resistant. Just like glove, there are many types of safety shirts such as metastasal, guard, safety boot, and rubber boot. It is really important to choose the right type and size of safety shirts for individual depend on the construction hazard to be encountered. Chesso chip is constructed from cut assistant material. They will protect the leg against contact with a moving chesso. Typically, the material will stop the chain from moving or force the chainsaw to cut the chain rather than a walker neck. Chainsaw chain do not always prevent a chainsaw injury from occurring, rather the purpose is primarily to minimize the extent of damage if any injury does occur. Chainsaw chain will start the chain running at 2750 feet per minute. It is essential to wear torsos that are made of a sturdy and durable material that has a greater amount of stretch. When walking at height, a safety harness and layer system may be needed to provide for arrest protection and may also serve to position of the walker so both hands are free to work. Their role is to securely attach the walker harness to anchor left line or structure such as rebar to prevent the wheel from falling to the ground. The leg of layer will have to be specifically chosen to keep the wheel safely on the platform. There are three types of safety layer which are short absorbing layer, safe restricting layer SRL and positioning layer. Construction site often have uneven turn, smart soil and uneasy material. It is unsurprising that slip, trip and fall are common hazard to happen. This may lead to injuries such as sprained leg. In fact, walker may break the leg if the impact is high enough. That's why we have to use safety shoes to protect leg from injuries. Unstable walking surface, particularly those of the ground, can be commonplace on construction site. This place has restricted mobility and accessibility. Tripping accident is always likely to happen in this situation. If failure of safety equipment occurs, the effect will be worse. Some people are likely to break their leg, but some might lose their life due to the impact from high distance of falling. That is why safety light should be used when dealing with the wall at height. It may prevent the wearer from falling by attach the wearer harness to the anchor or structure. Construction site walking environment is always busy and noisy. There are many types of machines produce various types of noise. Garden light volume can be dangerous for workers. The exposure to the long-term repetitive sounds such as drill and compressor can lead to short or long-term hearing problems such as hearing loss. Noise can also be a dangerous distraction since it may distract the worker from the task at hand which can result in accident. A lot of dust is produced by the movement of objects on construction site. The dust on construction site is often a invisible, fine and toxic mixture of hazardous material and fiber. 
This dust can give a hard time to betting and damage the lung which lead to diseases such as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, asthma, and silicosis. To minimize the dust in gas, we shall wear face masks or bathing protection equipment such as filtering face masks, respirator, FFR, and reusable half masks. In conclusion, all personal protective equipment PPE should be safely designed and constructed. PPE users should be training in the use of personal protective equipment. During selecting PPE, we must ensure that the item chosen is appropriate for the risk by compare the hazard risk with the capability of different types of PPE. Make sure that the item is worn correctly so it will fit properly and comfort to wear. After using PPE, store it in a clean and fully operational condition to ensure that the equipment is safe from interference and damage so it may easily accessible when needed. A team of PPE should also be checked regularly. Do not forget to repeat or replace the bookmark.